Ivan Ljubicic doesn't have the fame or records of a Roger Federer or Rafael Nadal, but this former world number three's unusual story is striking. The Croatian was born in Bosnia-Herzegovina in 1979. As a child, Ivan was restless, even hyperactive. To keep him busy, his father signed him up for tennis at the age of nine. For tennis, it is, it is considered quite late. and. Uh... I just watched Wimbledon on TV and uh, there was the moment where my, my father decided that I should be doing some sports and I liked tennis, I liked individual sports. Despite a difficult start, Yubi Tish immediately felt that tennis was a sport made for him. I mean, at the beginning it was, was difficult because obviously all the kids my age, they were playing already, so I was losing all the matches that I played first maybe two, three years. But then after, when I, when I picked up and I started to win some, uh, it was a little more fun, so... But uh, really, I never, never raised the question, should I need maybe be doing something else? It was tennis from the beginning until the end. Up until then, his story is much like that of other tennis champions. But Ivan's life was disrupted in 1992 when the conflict in the Balkans broke out. His country, Bosnia, claimed independence. Ivan, his mother and his brother had to flee to Croatia. His father was only able to join them several months later. Difficult times for the Yubishish family. Back then I was a kid, I didn't really understand what was going on. What, what I understood it was that there were difficult times that I had to, uh, I had to deal with it. And uh, in the end of the day, I personally really didn't have that difficult time. And I was, I, all, of, all of a sudden I ended up in Italy playing tennis, practicing with other kids. So things were okay, but I'm sure that my parents suffered a lot more than me. Looking back now, Ivan Ljubicic realizes that that war, so tragic, shaped his future. It made him a professional tennis player. There was a particular moment in my life, in my career, when we, when we escaped from, from Bosnia during, uh, because of the war, then we had to decide a little bit about our lives. And I had this opportunity to go to Italy to play tennis, to practice. And that was probably the moment where, where my career was decided. And, uh, uh, and I think it was a great, great decision. You know, I, I'm not sure how my life would look like if I, if I decided to play tennis a little bit less professionally and then, you know, try to com combine it with the school. But in the end, uh, it worked pretty well. War, escaping, but also the years spent in Italy far from his family and friends when he was only 13. Difficult memories. But Ivan Ljubicic has channeled them positively and they became for him an extra source of strength. It was definitely in the beginning, uh, you know, I had a different childhood than, than a lot of other kids that I was competing against and uh, it, was, uh, it was something that was definitely pushing me. Not anymore today, I mean, I have my own life, my own career, everything what I did, it's now, uh, of course, most, more important than that. The Croatian reached the height of tennis with his third place in world ranking in May 2006. His head is full of memories, good and not so good. The Davis Cup victory, Olympic medal and the Indian Wells title, I think, are definitely the best ones. The worst ones, I mean, they're not really bad ones. I mean, you, you play tennis, you lose a lot of matches, but maybe the, the, the defeat in Australia in 2003 when I had chances to, to win against Wayne Ferreira, I was winning easily and then in the end I lost the match, but, uh, you know, it happens. But these victories are not the proudest achievement for Ivan Ljubicic. His son is what makes him feel most proud. On the 10th of December 2008, the date his son Leonardo was born, his life changed forever. Uh, it changed dramatically. <laughs> a lot of people tried to explain me how that's, that, that's a huge change, but until you, you really experience yourself, it's, 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 it's impossible to realize what is, and all of a sudden, the, the, the priority is switch and the most important thing is not tennis anymore but it's the family and it took me some time to adjust but I'm really happy uh, I, I now of course I wish I was uh, I was a father a little bit earlier but uh, we're happy that we have a healthy son and uh, we have another one on the way so it's a it's a it's a great great things in life being a tennis champion is a profession which seems like a dream to most people. However, there are some downsides. The season is never ending. Yubi Chish played a tournament every week from January to November all over the world. Airplanes and hotels become home. Not easy to combine this nomad life with life as a father. Well, I mean, you have two choices. Or, or you keep the family at home and you travel and uh, you try not to play a lot, or you travel with the family, which is more expensive thing, more difficult thing, but I think that's the right thing to do. So that's, we tried to combine a little bit both. Uh, we, my, my family traveled a lot, 
And sometimes I go at the tournaments by myself, but I try to avoid those. I try to spend uh, as much time as I can with my son. Traveling the world is also an amazing opportunity. The tennis champion is aware of this, and he is still energized by the many people he has met throughout his career. I met a lot of people that inspired me and then that, that made me think, you know, about uh, everything. But those people are un unknown and not, not famous. Traveling around the world, you meet a lot of cultures, different cultures, different kind of thinking of the people, Chinese culture that is totally different than, than European. And you see that uh, the, the, the life of those people are different than ours. Perspective of the life is different and you, you, you learn a lot traveling. Ivan Jubicic is a calm, respectful and undaunted man, both on the courts and in his life. No surprise to hear that his idols are Stefan Edberg and Pete Sampras, tennis legends known for their sportsmanship and class. Yeah, I really like old school and uh, for me it was, it was beha behavior on the court was really important when I was a kid. My father always told me that you have to try as hard as you can and you have to you know, be calm on the court and then the result doesn't really matter. Ivan realizes how lucky he is and the importance of giving back to others. In 2007, he was recognized by the Association of Professional Tennis Players for his involvement with the Special Olympics Association, which helps with the inclusion of people with mental disabilities. I was helping unprivileged kids there and, uh, and the people, and they were, they were doing some sports and tried to help them a lot. And uh, this year again, it's, you know, I, I, I prefer maybe not to talk too much about it, but rather do things. and. Um, Individually, I help a lot of people. Uh, I'm not, uh, I haven't founded the foundation or something like that to get the big picture of it. But for all the things that, that uh, I went through in my life and, and I see around me, I think you, you do have to you know, help other people who need help. He is respected for his professional and technical qualities, but Ivan Yubishish is also respected for his great human qualities.